In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite spacing little concept that you can use to create perfect route spacing in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, like I said, in this video, I'm going to be breaking breaking down one of my favorite plays out of the bunch tight end. The play is going to be tight end corner, and we're going to show you how to use this concept to create perfect spacing on your offense. Now, quick disclaimer, I do like to use a tight end apprentice whenever I run the bunch tight end. Um, now, before we go too far into this video, I do want to let you know that I have a complete bunch tight end ebook or bunch tight end offensive guide, complete with video video breakdowns and written setups and descriptions for how you can learn and master this offense. So, if you want to get my bunch tight end offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It's got the best bombs in the entire game, and honestly, it might just be the best all around offense in Madden 22. I love how this offense really complement or not complements, but really overpowers with super simple setups and super effective route combos. So if you want to get the offensive guide, there's a link in the description and you can get that for just $15. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do from a setup perspective is we are going to uh, streak the square receiver right up the seams. We're going to take the circle receiver and we're going to put him on a zig route. Okay, just like this right here. And then we're going to take the tight end. This is why I like tight end apprentice. I like to put the tight end on a crossing route. And what you're gonna see is we're gonna create a natural little um, spacing principle or spacing concept. So we motion, um, we're gonna motion this post across, or this corner across, turn into post. And then we're gonna put that running back on a wheel route, and it's gonna help create so much space on the field. Now our first read is always gonna be this quick little zig. If they're not playing hard flats, or especially if they're playing man-to-man -man coverage, you're gonna find a lot of success in this route, especially if they're playing, you know, different types of shaded up man-to-man -man coverage or just getting mismatches. This zig route is probably one of the best man beaters in this game. As you can see, it just simply cuts the outside just real sharp this season and does a great job against man. It's also, like I said, a really, really incredible, incredible uh, blitz beater that we can use from this formation. So what that's going to cause your opponent to do is it's going to cause them to play uh, hard flats, which is where your tight end crosser is going to come in. As you see here, it gets right over the top of the hard flats and forces your opponent to have to play Mabel coverage. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Mabel coverage is where we're going to put a cloud flat and we're going to put a hard flat on the field. Or we're going to basically double flat on the field and now what you're going to notice is typically this crossing route will get over a traditional Mabel coverage but not a 25 5 and 5 and so the, then what we're going to do off of this is we're going to then come back to this triangle receiver and we can hit him in the middle of the field wide open over the middle now i absolutely love this concept the reason why i like it so much is because oftentimes i find that the user will run with the crosser and leave this post route right over the middle of the field completely uncovered okay so they're going to leave that post route uncovered probably about 90 percent of the time in terms of that because we use this deep streak from the square receiver to pull every single zone in the game including the zones on the other side of the field backed off we get this delay snap that really does open up this space to be able to throw that ball right in that hot little position just right there so i absolutely love that post route and so then what's going to happen is your opponent is going to kind of play a double Mabel coverage, and then they're going to user their defender onto the post route. Well, the problem with that is if they jump to the outside to user the post route, then what this is gonna create for our offense is we're gonna be able to throw that crosser right in that little pocket right there. And as you can see, the Mabel coverage is gonna be pulled to the outside because of the zig, and we're gonna be able to hit that crossing route right in that hot spot of the zone. So this is absolutely one of my favorite concepts. I'm gonna show you what we can do against match coverage as well. Match coverage, in my opinion, uh, probably defends this the best, but you'll see that this tight end crosser uh, is almost always gonna be completely uncovered. And as you can see, it just gets so open against this coverage. Thanks for watching this video. And if you wanna get my complete bunch tight end offensive ebook, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description of this video. It's my favorite offense in the game right now. 
It creates perfect spacing. There's so many bombs. I actually called the offensive guide my bombs away bunch tight end guide because it is truly that effective. And so I would encourage you, if you uh, have not gotten the bunch tight end guide yet, to go ahead and get it. It's just 15 bucks, and we walk you step by step through how you can have one of the most dangerous and elite and bomb style offenses in Madden 22. Thanks for watching the video, and if you wanna get the guide, just click the link in the description. It'll take you right over the website, and we'll get you all squared away.